palindrome test assignment gives you practice with using repetition structures and recommend using a loop as you reverse the strings as you saw in the previous video. However, there is a little challenge here and that is the user is going to enter a string and you need to ignore any punctuation or any characters that are not A through Z or a number and you need to make sure that the characters A through Z can be either uppercase or lowercase and if you have an uppercase letter and a lowercase letter that are the same they should be treated equally. So that's your your assignment. Let's just look at uh, what the program would look like in terms of running. So you're going to have the front matter that tells the user what to do and give them some examples in terms of palindromes that read the same backwards or forwards. So Bob Obviously, B-O-B -B is the same backwards or forwards. It can be a number, one, two, three, four, three, two, one. Here's one that uses some punctuation. Madam, comma, space, I'm, with an apostrophe, Adam, with an exclamation mark. So you need to remove the, the comma, the space, the apostrophe, and the exclamation mark. And then that string would be the same forwards or backwards. And again, it doesn't matter if this is an uppercase M and that's a lowercase M. Was it a rat I saw? Again, taking the spaces out, removing the question mark, it would read the same forwards or backwards. Was it a rat I saw? Here's another one. Mr. Owl ate my metal worm. Again, taking out the period and all the spaces. It would be the same forwards or backwards. So the users are going to enter their phrase, and then you're going to say, yes, that is indeed a palindrome. So here's another one, race car, be another example, it's forwards and backwards. And if they enter a string that's not a palindrome, then your response should be set, would say no, and whatever string they entered is not a palindrome. I give you some tips. So you can use a repetition loop, a for loop, to look at each character in my string and loop through those characters and examining the characters in the conditional structures. And you can use the and or or to determine if the character is a letter or a number and concatenate it to two strings, one forward, one backwards, while removing the case sensitivity using the upper or lower methods. So you can create your string with all of the punctuation removed and it reversed at the same time it, as you're going through your loop. Then all you're going to do is compare the two strings and see if they're equivalent and then report out accordingly. Now one restriction here is you may not use any features not yet covered in this course such as lists, tuples, or functions. Upload your Python program and there are two points here. One for writing the program, CSL01 that uses input and displayed output and then using a control structure, in this case a for repetition and an if conditional structure. Here's my code running in the Python idle editor and I provide the front matter for the user, giving the title, the developer, and explaining what the program does. I give them some examples of palindromes, and I tell them enter nothing to end the program. So I used a sentinel value in my example. You're not required to do that in this assignment, but it does make it nice for testing. You don't have to keep rerunning your project. So if I put in a number like one, two, three, four, three, two, one, that would read the same forwards and backwards. I press the enter key and told it, yes, that is a palindrome. If I do one, two, three, four, five, three, two, one, that is not a palindrome because it's going to read differently forwards and backwards. And so when I press enter key, I'm told that's not a palindrome. Let's try one of these examples from here at the top. So was it a rat I saw? And that is a palindrome. It does read the same forwards and backwards once we take the spaces out and the, and the question mark. If I type in Bob though with two Bs, that's not a palindrome. It does not read the same forwards and backwards. Now, since I used a sentinel value of enter nothing to end the program, I'm just gonna press the enter key and I'm told goodbye. Let me just run this one more time because I wanna show you one more thing. And that is, I can have a mixture of numbers and letters. And again, the case sensitivity does not matter. 
but I'm told that is a palindrome. It includes both numbers and letters. If, however, I did the, basically the same thing, I'm going to leave out the three on this one. And so that is not a palindrome. So it must include both the letters and the characters. And for watching this video to the end, I'm going to give you a little bit of pseudocode to help you. You're going to get the phrase or word or sentence or numbers from the user. And then in a loop, you're going to make a new phrase that removes all the spaces and punctuation. Remember, you can examine each character and use Boolean expressions to see if they equal an A through a Z or a 0 through 9. And make them case sensitive using upper or lower methods. And then you can create a reverse string at the same time. So if it's a valid character, you concatenate it to your original string. And you also can candidate it in reverse order to a reverse string. And then all you have to do is compare those and see if they're equivalent. And if they are, print out that, that the input is indeed a palindrome. If not, that's not a palindrome. If you just jumped into this video and haven't seen the prior videos to this, I invite you to check out my Python playlist of videos. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos that I create, you can click my picture up in the top right and subscribe to the channel.